Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a consultant. Hi, how are you? I'm a consultant. Let me just uh, let me just consult on that on that thing for you. Brilliant, thanks. Hmm. Consulting, consulting, PowerPoint. Yeah, let me get that for you. Let me, I'll make some, yes, I'll, uh, I'll get on that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about consulting today. That's just not, that's not your style. Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna be talking about consulting today. So yeah, all right guys, let's go. Let's talk about consulting. In all seriousness though, we are gonna be talking about consulting today. We're gonna to be talking about what consulting is, how I got into it, my one year as a consultant, and then why I liked it, why I didn't like it, and then also what I think about it as a career, weighing it up against some other careers as well. So uh, I won't be talking about the specific company that I worked for, but if you are interested where I worked, you can probably find it on my LinkedIn. This is specifically aimed for students who don't really know what career they want to do and just want to learn a little bit more about consulting. So hopefully this will be useful for you. I also think I just want to take a minute to share some gratitude with everyone watching the video. Thank you. So what is consulting? Well, in its simplest form, consulting is where someone has experience and advice to give around solving a particular type of problem and they help other people or other companies that have uh, that particular problem. So it's like if you have a problem yourself, you will go to a friend who has experience in dealing with that problem and then you are consulting them. In business, it's exactly the same idea. You have a business that has a problem and they will go to another company that has experience solving that particular problem. This type of consulting in business is generally called management consulting and that kind of encapsulates everything from operational uh, consulting, which is like um, organizational structure and the technology that a company uses and how a company is set up and then we've also got strategy consulting so that's kind of like what markets a company is operating in and how the company is planning on moving forwards and then you also have things like IT consulting or technology consulting and all that kind of stuff so management consulting kind of includes all of those things the Oxford dictionary definition is giving expert advice uh, in a professional or technical field. There are also these seven reasons why people hire consultants, which I found, I'm not gonna go through every one, um, but you can pause it here if you wanna read it, but it's just quite a nice overview of seven different C's of why people hire consultants. So how did I end up in consulting? Well, I left university in 2019. I went to UCL and I studied classics, which is like ancient history, Latin and Greek, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I left university. So I applied to this uh, coaching program with Arsenal's community center and I did that for about nine months and it was really amazing, I learned a lot, but I realized I didn't really want to become a football coach. So whilst I was doing that, I started thinking that I should apply to some graduate programs because I kind of wanted that experience. And management consulting seemed like the best type of graduate program to apply for because it's quite generalized, you don't need any specific skills and you also don't uh, go towards any specific qualification like law or like accounting. I kind of wanted a sort of general experience in business and, and so I started applying to these programs and I found them all on Bright Network, which I'll link in the description, in the video description. It's a great website for graduates to find out more about graduate programs that they can that they can get onto and, uh, or anyone at university who uh, is just thinking about their future. It's a great website to look at. So I went on there and I applied to 10 different graduate programs and I got an assessment center at one of them and then got an offer from that same company in January 2020. The offer was to start in June 2020, but then it got postponed by six months because of the pandemic, and I started in January 2021. I spent one year there, um, and I did seven different projects. So the company was a design and engineering consulting firm, so they generally helped construction companies, transport companies, um, energy companies, water companies, with their design and engineering problems. But then I was in the part of the business that was the management consulting part of the business, which was working with those same clients, but helping them with their business problems instead of their engineering problems. It was a lot of fun, but as I mentioned, I started in January 2021, which was uh, about peak lockdown in the UK. So I onboarded online and I did six months online from my bedroom and that was not very fun. But once I started going into the office, uh, I started to get a real taste for what consulting was about and learned a huge amount. As I mentioned, I worked on seven different projects. This included things like uh, helping implement a new technology in an organization, uh, reorganizing a meeting structure for a client, that was a pretty boring one, and then also doing some technical due diligence. So due diligence is where a company like an investment bank will do some checks before buying shares or investing in another company. 
So it's like if you're buying a house and uh, you want to find you want to find out before you buy the house if the house is exactly uh, how you think the house is. So the pipes are working, the walls aren't falling down. You might visit the house to check it's all in good condition. You might look at the history of the house. That is all called due diligence. These are definitely the types of projects that I enjoyed most. But to talk about the specific tasks that you do as a consultant, it goes from uh, generally is in time or aligns to the kind of lifetime of a project. So at the start of a project, you engage with the client and you find out what their problem is uh, as a project team. And then the second stage is generally you sort of as a project team try and come up with some kind of solution and work with the client to, to find out more about their, their needs and their problems and things like that. And then as a project team, you kind of come up with loads of Excels and PowerPoints and uh, to figure out how you can come up with uh, a solution and provide value for the client. Delivering value for the client is ultimately what you're trying to do. And then as a team, you come up with this solution and you present it to the client. And sometimes you actually implement the solution that, you're, that you've are that you come up with. So there's a lot of um, collaboration in consulting. There's a lot of like presenting, working with the client. There's some, you know, if you're working on a project that's heavily involved in data analysis, you'll be kind of deep in Excels. And it may be if you're involved in like communicating ideas, you'll be really uh, focused on PowerPoint, making nice presentations and stuff like that. But the tagline of consulting is delivering value for the client. So if you're not doing that, then you're not really doing your job. So why I liked consulting, uh, three reasons really. One is that it's a really broad range of experience. So that you first get like a range of um, types of work, types of projects that you work on. You work with a range of clients, so you get to explore lots of different businesses. And then you also work with a range of people on your project team. So over my seven projects, I did, uh, I worked with a wide range of different people and you get to learn about yourself, learn about other people, how you um, work, how you operate. And it's just a really useful experience to have such a broad range of different activities and different learnings that I think it gives you a lot of information and a really good grounding for your professional career. The second thing is that it gives you a range of skills and so because it's such a broad range of experiences that you have, you therefore develop quite a, a range of skills and you might have to be good at presenting, you have to be good at data analysis say, you have to be good at research, you have to be good at kind of coming up with ideas and solving problems and it's just quite varied, so I liked that variety, and I think it gives you a good starting point as someone who's just out of university. The third thing is that consulting is quite social. You have to interact a lot with the client, with your project team, and that's not to say that the job is not for people who don't like socializing as much or uh, you know, call themselves introverts, but I think that uh, it is a fun part of the job. So some reasons why I didn't like it. Well, the first one is that you don't really get to choose the type of work that you get to do because it's project based, which means that projects sort of come and go and you don't get to pick the work that you, that you actually spend time working on. And that for me is a bit of an issue. You have to always kind of accommodate the client and you don't necessarily get to focus on things you want to focus on. And as you get more senior, you can generally go into more specific areas uh, that you that you want to go into, but it's still difficult to have that autonomy. The second reason I don't like it is that there's no skin in the game. And what I mean by that is that consultants don't actually have to deal with the consequences of the project. However, it goes, it's the client who has the problem. So there's two things, there's two sides, there's two ways to look at this. That's uh, one way to look at the no skin in the game problem that consultants don't actually deal with the outcome. The other way to look at it is that, that the fact that they have no skin in the game means that consultants can look at the problem rationally from the outside, they have perspective and all that kind of thing. So and clients often are too deep into it that they can't see the problem rationally and consultants can provide some help in that sense. But I found it a bit of a, an issue that I didn't really feel connected to the, to the project. The third reason is that sometimes you actually don't feel like you're even helping that much or providing that much value to the client and that can be sometimes not that fulfilling or inspiring. The one thing that we haven't mentioned here is travel. So travel used to be a massive part of consulting, uh, especially management consulting. You sort of travel all around, going to the client's office, wherever that might be. And now post pandemic, post COVID-19, travel is not so much a part of it because you can pretty much do everything online. So occasionally you might travel, but for me, it was really not a part of my job and uh, that wasn't really an issue for me. But for some people, you might be looking for more, for more travel opportunities and uh, it's hard to tell where consulting is going as an industry in that sense. So to compare it to other jobs like law, banking, accounting, medicine, teaching, being a football coach, I think 
consulting is good because it gives you quite a varied experience and you get quite a good foundational knowledge in business in the general the very most general sense so i think that's the main attraction for consulting it's quite a good place to start if you're just out of university don't really know what you want to do it will give you that professional experience and exposure to different types of businesses different types of workplaces and working with different people in your in your company as well so i think if you're not if you don't want to commit to doing something like law which is obviously like you have a training contract and you have to kind of do uh, a number of years to become a qualified lawyer or banking which is more intense than consulting generally or accounting which is potentially uh, less exciting and uh, you have to do three years to get a, a, an accounting qualification consulting is just quite a nice middle ground where you don't really commit to anything you get a nice experience um, a nice rounded experience of business and how the world works and stuff like that so i think if you really don't know what you want to do i think consulting is quite a good place to start at the very least you will learn about yourself if you go into consulting you'll find out what kind of projects you like doing, what kind of work you like doing, who you like working with, what you enjoy, what you find meaningful, all that good stuff that we want to learn. So uh, yeah, if you don't know what you want to do, I think it's a good idea. If you want to know why I quit my job as a consultant, then watch this video here. And if you want to see a day in my life as a consultant where I actually don't really talk about consulting at all, then watch this video here. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.